All right, everybody, we're going to start off by making a very important distinction. There are free keyword tools that are going to help us with keyword ideation. And then there are other free tools that are going to give us relevant data. And if we combine both of these, we can actually create something quite powerful. Let's start with the tools that actually give accurate data. So I'm going to start off with the Google Keyword Planner. This is definitely the most popular one, but it's also the hardest one to use. So to get to the Google Keyword Planner, we need to create a Google Ads account, give Google our credit card and create a Google Ads campaign. Now, we don't have to worry about getting charged because as soon as we're in Google Ads, we can actually pause that campaign and we won't spend any money. But once we're in, guys, we're gonna head over to Tools and Settings. We're gonna click on Keyword Planner, click on Discover New Keywords, and type in our keyword. So vegan brownie recipe is the one I'm gonna pick today. I'm gonna change the languages here, hit English, change my location to the United States, and hit save. Then I'm gonna click get results. And in my personal opinion, I think this is the best place to start doing keyword research if you're a complete beginner, because we get a lot of data completely for free. So we're gonna get the keyword by relevance, we're gonna get the average monthly searches, and we're gonna get the competition. Those are the three main things that we're looking for when we're doing keyword research. So we're seeing that the actual keywords are quite relevant. So the keyword I added is vegan brownie recipe. We're getting vegan brownies, chocolate brownies, gluten-free, black beans, so on and so forth. Then for the average monthly searches, we see that this data isn't actually that helpful, right? It's giving us a very generic, very ballpark range number of 1,000 to 10,000, which isn't extremely helpful. And then for the competition, we also see that they're just saying that it's low, right? We're not getting a specific metric or a listing of the competitors, right? It isn't very accurate data. And this is on purpose, guys. Google doesn't want to give out such accurate data because then there's people like us that go out and try and hack Google and rank websites. So even though I think this is a great starting point, Google, the Google Keyword Planner has a lot of limitations. What I would use instead is I would look up the Keyword Surfer tool by Surfer SEO. This is a free Chrome extension that we can add. And once we've added that, we're going to see this. So again, we're using that same keyword. And now what I'm seeing is that the actual estimated volume is around 6,600 in comparison to the one that Google is giving us 1,000 to 10,000. This one makes a bit more sense, right? We're also gonna get the CPC, which is the cost per click. That's a Google ads metric, which basically tells us how much are people willing to pay for that specific click for that keyword, right? And then the third thing that we're getting is we get some keyword ideas here by Keyword Surfer, and we're gonna get the similarity, we're gonna get the volume, right? So vegan brownies, easy, easy brownies, easy vegan brownies, so on and so forth. A couple pages here of data, very, very cool. I'd say this is very complete Chrome extension that actually gives us relevant data. But how accurate is this data actually? Well, if we compare this to Ahrefs, I've added in that same keyword, vegan brownie recipe. This volume is actually telling us that it's 5.5 thousand instead of Surfer's 6.6, .6, right? So still, Surfer is giving us an accurate ballpark number and not just giving us a massive range like the Google Keyword Planner. And the last tool that actually has relevant data that I recommend you guys check out is the Ahrefs free keyword generator. Now, again, I've added this in, vegan brownie recipe. I just clicked here, I'm not a robot. And this is the list that we're getting. So we get around 10 keywords, I think, where we actually get relevant data. We get the keyword difficulty right here. We get the volume when it was last updated. And then we get a pretty generic listing of, I think, just the volume and not much more, right? We have this button to sign up for Ahrefs, which is kind of annoying, but we, we do get a pretty long list of keywords. So this would also be a great place to start. Now, let's check these other free SEO tools because Ahrefs actually has a bunch of free SEO tools that I recommend you guys check out. By the way, guys, if you're brand new to the channel, I just launched my complete SEO course. You guys can pre-order it now if you go to courses.jalma.io. Let's get back into the video. So those are the top three free tools that have relevant data. Now let's talk about some other tools that are going to help us with keyword ideation. So the first one we're going to take a look at is Keyword Cheater. If we click into this and add in vegan brownie recipe, and I'm going to click start cheating, it's going to give us a huge, huge collection of keyword ideas relating to that keyword, right? I'm just going to stop because it's just going to keep going here. And again, look at the amount of keywords that we've just generated. What I would then do is maybe take this, plug it into Google. And because we have that Chrome extension, we're going to get some accurate data, right? We can also plug it into the Ahrefs free keyword generator tool. So we can use this tool. Uh, another tool that I recommend you guys check out is questiondb.io. What we can do here is we can basically uncover the questions behind those keywords, right? So if I type in vegan brownie, for example, and I'm going to generate some questions here. So we're going to get what's your favorite vegan brownie? How to vegan? I'm not sure what that says. Does anyone have a good vegan brownie recipe? So a lot of different 
questions here. Not everything is going to be super relevant, but it's just good to have an idea of the questions related to your keyword. And the last one I want to talk about is answer the public. So I've added in vegan brownie recipe and I'm getting a massive list of a bunch of different ideas. So with banana, with coconut oil, cocoa powder, dates, a lot of different things here. Highly recommend you guys check this out. Again, completely free. And guys, if you're brand new to keyword research, I recommend you check out this video. It's my complete guide on how to do keyword research for beginners. And if you want me to teach you SEO from scratch, then go check out my course, go pre-order it now. The link is in the description. I'll see you guys in the next one.